Y'all, I know I said I don't have favorites, but she might have to be my favorite. Hi everyone, Gabby here, and for this Magical Girl May video, we are doing another figure unboxing because my figure shelf will never be full, and if it ever becomes full, then I will buy another shelf. Today, we will be unboxing my Hug Toe set that I was missing. I currently have Amour and Macheri, and I wanted the rest of them because Hug Toe is very near and dear and special to my heart in all of the Precure seasons, so I had to have them. But before I open the box, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, because the whole month of May is Magical Girl anime-themed content here. We have so much fun. It's also my birth month, so it's a two for two special. So let's just get into it. I bought these second hand off eBay. I buy most of my candy figures second hand for the most part, except for when I can get them as they're releasing. Like my Tropical Rouge was not second hand, but most of my others are second hand. If I can figure out where to start opening the box from would be great. Whoever bought this, whoever sent this to me, taped it way too well to the point that I don't know how to open this box. If you do not know, Hug Toe Precure was the 15th anniversary Precure season. It is one of my personal favorites. If you grew up watching Precure or you love very traditional magical girl anime with a heavy focus on your friends being the most important things in your lives, you should watch it. It makes me cry. I honestly cannot even listen to the beginning first few notes of the opening without wanting to cry because that is how emotional this season in particular made me. Oh my god, wait, they sent the boxes too. Okay, wait, let's do a little sneaky, cheeky peeky inside. This person is so nice. They folded up all the boxes and sent them to me. They didn't have to. That's so sweet though. And enough packaging in here. Oh, this is such a fancy little box situation. They sent me the original boxes, which is very, very sweet. And the reason these are called the candy figures, if you're new here, is they typically come with a small piece of a gum-like candy um, that I've never tried, but maybe one day I will. But here are the boxes. The boxes from Hug Toe are personally some of my favorites. I just think the colors for this season in particular were so pretty. Like the shades they chose just worked so well together. So that's Anja's box, Etoile, and Yell's. So yeah, as you can tell, those are the ones we're opening, if you didn't know already. So let's start. How do I pick what order to open them? I think we're gonna start, this is never an insult to whoever I open first. I usually just try to save my favorite for last. I do love Anj though. Oh, she's so pretty. This person really wrapped them way too well. And now I have tape stuck to me. Oh, my God. oh, her hair is ombre. Wait, this is so pretty. I have to, I'll film close ups, but like the tips of her hair is ombre. I did not notice that when I looked at these previously. That is so pretty. And so she ever so nicely just pops right on her stand compared to every other hug toe. Not hug toe. Y'all saw Olive Mode was impossible to get on its stands, and same with Go Princess, but hug toe, they just snap right off. She is beautiful. For being used, I see literally, like she's like perfect, perfect. Like there is nothing wrong with her. She is flawless. I love her. She's a good blue cure. And we have a Toile, who I just fell in love with her instantly, honestly. Not just because she ice skates, but like, you know, I love when a Magical Girl series or any series gives a character a hobby that I also enjoy. It just makes me love the character more. And she's so pretty. Like, I think I can say, like, no one saw a Toile's design and was like, mm, that's not cute. Like, she is beautiful. Her hair, no, it is slightly ombre. It's not as obvious as on Ange, but her ponytail is like slightly more orangey at the tips and more yellow at the front. Her front of her hair is a little more scuffed than I would like for it to be in the front of her face, but she, come on, get on. 
Get on, girl. Get on up. Oh my god. Why can't she? Girl. I love her. She is very, very pretty. Very precious to me. I am very excited to have all of Hugtoe on a shelf together. It'll be... Actually, that's a lie. I was going to say it's the first set that I have all of them, but that's technically not true. But it's going to be one of my... It's the first set that I didn't buy as a full set that I've pieced together over the years. Because I don't know if I ever explained this. My Amour figure, I technically bid on and then went to sleep immediately after I placed like a dollar bid on her. And I woke up to having won her and I, the whole reason I fell asleep, bid on something and then went back to sleep was I got a concussion listening to Precure music out in front of my dorm in college. I'm a really cool person. Uh, but yeah. And then Ma Sherry, I was able to find her second hand. She's in not the best of conditions. As you saw, I'll put the video here that I unboxed her in. She's not the best condition wise, but I love her and I needed to have both of them. I couldn't just look at Amore by herself anymore. It was making me sad. Oh, sweet baby. And then I... I didn't fall in love with Curiel until the last 10 episodes of Hugtoe that really focused on her. And I just, I think she is one of like the best pink cures, like journey wise. I think she's just so special. And she has transparent sleeves, like in her actual outfit. Sorry, I just got distracted. Um, I would honestly say going into Hugtoe, I knew when we saw Ruru, she was going to be a mid-season cure and I fell in love with her because she is purple. We know I love a purple cure, but when I met Yell and really watched her go through it, I cried and therefore needed her to be my best girl. Oh my god, wait, hers is stunning. I will have to film a close-up of her especially. She is so beautiful for a candy figure. And again, these are tiny, tiny figures. They're not meant to be perfect but I love all the sheer detailing like she has traditionally, like the clear overlay on her skirt and the sleeves. She is beautiful. She is in like really nice condition. I love her so much. I wanna cosplay her so badly. I love you, sweetie. I'm gonna go film close-ups of them all. I don't technically have Amour and Ma Cherie unboxed yet in my apartment because I still haven't built my figure shelf when I'm pre-recording this. I will hopefully have that built and on my channel before this video, but one day I will be able to take a beautiful photo of all of them lined up together looking ever so perfect because hug toe is ever so perfect. I love them very much. All right, I'm gonna go film a close-up shot. I'll be right back with a close-up shot. So that is what I have for today's Magical Girl May video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes you, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more Magical Girl themed content. Like I said, I love them and will be doing not just Precure themed videos. However, it is just easy for me to collect a lot of Precure stuff because it's one of the more accessible Magical Girl anime to collect merch from which is saying something because believe me, I would love a like one of those, the really pretty, I'm gonna put a picture in here, that like Ichigo figure that like people sell for like almost a thousand dollars. I would quite like her, but not that much yet. I'm hoping with the Tokyo Mimi re-release, they come out with new figures and that is the dream, please, for me. But yeah, let me know which of the three is your favorite, even if you haven't seen Hugtoe, which one is aesthetically your favorite, okay? We can be that person. I think Yells out of the whole set is my favorite, but I think it's honestly because they just added so many extra details to her compared to the other two. Sorry, girls, but they made her way more detailed, and I think she is stunning. Follow me over on Instagram and Twitter to see both cosplay content and hear me rant about Magical Girl anime and all the other random things I do in my daily life. And yeah, 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! And can we talk? This is the first Precure video where none of the figures fell off their stand while I was holding them. See, this is why Hugtoe is the best. No one cannot make this argument with me. They're the best.